what is expressionism expressionism is a modernist movement that emerged in early 20th century germany artists working in this style distort the reality of their subjects in order to express their own emotions feelings and ideas expressionism artistic style in which the artist seeks to depict not objective reality but rather the subjective emotions and responses that object and events arouse within a person the artist accomplishes this aim through distortion exaggeration primitivism and fantasy and through the vivid jaggery violent or dynamic application of formal elements expressionism in art Expressionist art grew out of the work of symbolist artists such as Paul Gauguin, Edvard Munch, and Vincent van Gogh. Feelings were emphasized above all else. Expression over impression. Expressionism over impressionism. As a reaction against impressionism and academic art, Expressionism refers to art in which the representation of reality is not objective but distorted in order to express the inner feelings of the artist. Expressionism had its most direct impact in Germany and continued to shape the country's art for decades after the First World War. While certain artists rejected expressionism, others continued to expand its innovative art and style. In expressionist art Color in particular can be highly intense and non-naturalistic. Brushwork is typically free and paint application tends to be generous and highly textured. Expressionist art tends to be emotional and sometimes mystical. Examples of expressionism in art. The famous painting by Edvard Munch, The Scream. An expressionist construction based on Munch's actual experience of a scream passing through nature while on a walk, after his two companions seen in the background had left him. Expressionists were most interested in expressing emotions and they would do this by manipulating the art elements like line, shape, color, font and texture. In this painting, colors in the sky gives us the feeling of anxiety and the screaming face gives the unpleasant sort of feeling. The another most famous painting by Vincent van Gogh, The Starry Night. The Starry Night is based on Van Gogh's direct observation as well as his imagination, memories and emotions. The people of the church, for example, resembles those common in his native Holland, not in France. Whirling forms in the sky, on the other hand, match published astronomical observations of clouds, of dust and gas known as nebulae. At once balanced and expressive, the composition is structured by his ordered placement of the cypress, steeple, and center of nebulae, while his countless short brush strokes and thickly applied paint sets the surface in rolling motion. Such a combination of visual contrasts were generated by an artist who found beauty and interest in the night, which for him was much more alive and richly colored than the day. By Expressionism To express emotionally, to publish to the world and let them know what we feel in a symbolic and poetic way. Expressionism depicts the world as it feels rather than it looks. Expressionism in Architecture Expressionism is the way of expressing something in and around something that you feel emotionally from all the things that happen phenomenally. History. This is one of the moments in architecture in the 20th century, mainly in Europe, where at that time people fought in the World War I, including the architects at that time. The political and social problems also influenced the architects, such places like Germany, Austria, and Denmark. Here are some famous architects involved in Expressionism. Features of Expressionism in Architecture Distortion of form for an emotional effect Curved lines create a soothing mood to the building and a sense of freedom. 
often made to represent the form of an utopian idol has inspiration from several different types of architecture has more gothic features than classical features distortion of form distortion of form is an integral part of expressionism because of the free flowing nature of the lines surfaces giving some sort of emotional connection to the building curved lines curved lines are important to expressionism because of the sense of freedom and tranquility that they convey with their organic movements some examples of expressionism in architecture einstein tower the einstein tower designed by architect endrich medelson was built between 1919 and 1921 located in potsdam germany in a science park it's surrounded by grassy lawn and trees the building a solar observatory is made up of brick covered with cement all curving edges and undulating forms seems almost to emerge from the ground below it like some kind of organic or scientific organism it was made to reflect einstein's theory of relativity which changed the way people thought about time and space chillaus the chillaus is an office building and landmark structure in hamburg germany designed by architect fris hoger It was built between 1922 and 1924 and constructed of reinforced concrete and brick. The towering structure thrusts violently skyward and seems to resemble the elongated bow of a tall ship. Comparing these two structures gives you a good idea of what is so striking about expressionist architecture. The Einstein Tower looks nothing like a chill house, yet they are both expressionist structures. Neither takes a standard boxy form, and both are unique statements by their creators. The Guggenheim Museum, the Guggenheim Museum, designed by Frank Gehry, located in Bilbao, Spain, was opened on 19th of October 1997. It presents an expressionist modernist style within an urban context of a temperature climate. It is a curvilinear free form sculpture constructed upon a steel frame covered by titanium sheathing. Overall the building presents 24290 meters square of space upon which 10560 meters square is reserved for exhibition over three floors interconnected by glass elevators and suspended walkways. Through the museum's natural components, Gehry interconnects the visitor's experience with the outdoors through such features as the large glass walls and the titanium elements which reflect the scales of a fish. Thank you.